Hello, this is Paul Bo Brookins, and welcome to a new series. We are going to play, oh, well, if you're watching this, you already know, um, a game called EcoQuest. And for some reason, you have to write this to start the game. Um, this is a game from 1991 again. Um, it's a very uh, nostalgic game, uh, time in my gaming career, I guess. Uh, because we also was when um, I think Willie Beamish came out, which I just recently played. Um, this is a game more geared toward children than Willie Beamish, even, but it's entertaining for just about anyone. Um, it's uh, it it's, was way underrated because it was geared toward children, but um, it's a game basically that. Uh, is uh, centered around the idea of uh, conservation and recycling and all that stuff and it gets a little heavy-handed every once in a while but it's you know it's got a good intent which is to make people aware of what they do with the garbage and stuff like that um, maybe uh, gets a little silly in its tactics, uh, you know, innocent creatures and all that at some points, but, you know, it's, uh, it's all about awareness of, uh, what you're doing with trash and what you're doing with, uh, hazardous materials. Um, and I don't know if we want to watch this whole intro sequence. It's basically this dolphin swimming around people's names over and over, so I'll just go ahead and skip it. <laughs> Let's skip it. We are a young, blonde-headed boy. Uh, even younger than Willie Beamish. If you want to go join that volleyball game, Adam, it's okay by me. I am bearded. Why not take a break? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know any of those kids. It's always that way when you move. Oh, so it's an, another fish out of water tale. It's been a long time since I played this, so this is actually uh, almost a fresh playthrough for me. Sooner or later, you'll you make friends. It'll happen. Sure, maybe later. All right, let's look around. Okay, so we have the general icons. Instead of walking, there's a swimming icon which makes you think that you're probably going to swim. Um, looking, touching, speaking, this last inventory item you used, and your inventory bag. Then, I don't know what that is. Settings and help. We'll take a look at it later. I think, oh, that's recycle, which is specific to this game. You have to recycle a certain number of items per, at certain, like, points in the game. Okay, Lab Rat, if you're gonna stay inside, come give me a hand with this. Okay, we have, and you can right click to cycle through icons. You can move around. Oh, it's walking right now. Um, can't recycle anything. Uh, so let's look at the box. Sure, what's up? I found another bird this morning. These oil spells make me so mad I can't see straight. Anyhow, let's see what we can do about it. Take a closer look and then get a ra uh, rag ready. Aww. The seagull is covered with oil and shivering miserably. Okay, we want this rag. Adam takes the clean rag. Yeah, we got our first points. Two out of... 725? Ugh. We need this detergent as well. This is a bottle of mild detergent. Adam takes a bottle of detergent. So now what we have to do is you can combine things in your inventory just like King's Quest 6. 
combine these two, Adam put some of the dish soap onto the clean rag. Now it's a soapy rag. Now we need to use it on this bird. Great, hold on a sec. Check out that state-of-the-art computer over here. Easy now, pal. Try to apply the soap with uh, the grain of the feathers. That'll get the most oil without breaking them. Gross, will the bird die? Damn, when things die, it's gross. <laughs> what? He might. Depends on how much of a shock he's had. We're doing all we can. Why don't you finish up? Scrub, 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 scrub noise. Scrub noise. And if you notice, this video is not in HD. But that's because these games weren't made in HD, so... Um, must be pretty easy to stream it, at least, you know, that's good. Should I take him outside and let him go? Not just yet. The soap removes his natural oils, too, and that's what makes him float. He'd be shark bait until they build up again. We'll take care of him and hope for the best. I wish there was something more we could do. Or, to do. Me too. I feel like all we do is clean up after the fact, and it doesn't work too well. Even this fertilizer solution I'm working on for cleaning up the surface depends on too many factors, such as water temperature, current, and stuff like that. I think this mix is better. It might even work on a coral a little bit. Try it out if you want. So you're recommending that we go swim in coral reefs. That's not good. Blast! I'm late again! All these meetings are getting to me. So, do you want to go outside or stay here? Maybe work with the dolphin? He's not recovering well from being entangled in that drip net. Oh, I guess that was part of the intro. I did see a net there and I was like, oh, maybe something else is going to happen. Um, he could use some encouragement. Well, sorry. If you want to see that, then um, if you could play this game. It's fr a free game uh, because it's abandonware at this point. Um, wow, I could work with the dolphin. Yeah, go ahead. Just take a look at... Did I say that in the low voice? Yeah, go ahead. Just take a look at my instructions on the blackboard. In the treatment room first, we have to make sure we're doing all... We're all doing the same thing with him. Gotta run, committees! we got going on here? Is this the chalkboard he was talking about? Okay. Adam Stead has drawn a diagram of an experimental satellite buoy. Oh, okay, this is a different chalkboard. Transmitter on the top. Oh, no, transmitter here. Is that? Attached to float with cable. And then toxic. I don't know what that means. Uh... What do we got over there? Oh man, I forgot to give him the water. Okay, I've got this... This... Well, I guess it's for the gerbil? Is that a gerbil? Oh man, I forgot to give him water. <laughs> He's clinking his cane. <laughs> Adam's gerbil lives in this cage. Why wouldn't you just leave it there for him? I've got this water for you, buddy. Adam attaches the full water bottle to the gerbil cage. Oh, yay! Water! Oh, no. I guess that hits the spot, huh? <laughs> I guess so. We got in there. If you put some of that experimental stuff in the bottle. 
How long is he gonna dance? Forever? Until you click away, I guess. I'm just gonna keep letting it happen. Oh my gosh, okay, that's enough. What's this? The oil has begun to sink to the bottom. That sucks. Do we have that stuff that we can... Oop, wrong thing. Uh, fertilizer solution, okay. Can we use that on here? Adam carefully pours some of the solution into the tank. Oh my gosh. Bacteria from the fertilizer solution breaks down the oil into harmless chemicals. That's pretty impressive. Alright, what's this? It's the hint book for EcoQuest. Adam doesn't have time to look at the hint book. Rats. No time. I could just stand here for like 10 minutes and it wouldn't... Oh, hello. That was fun. The mail has arrived. The letter is addressed to Adam with many forwarding addresses. Let's get that letter. Wow, cool, my membership card. What's it a membership card to? It's a letter, a certificate. Apprentice Dolphin Handler. This bear, Adam Green, has completed a 50 hour course in animal husbandry. Oh, yeah. And rescue techniques. Felicitations, Adam. Adam Green is a lifetime member of the Worldwide Dolphin Society. Signed, Natalie Duval, acting chairperson. Cool. Okay, what's this? A reusable bag Adam uses when he goes diving to collect garbage. Okay, let's get that. Adam picks up the garbage bag. He plans to use it to pick up trash when he goes diving later. Makes sense since it's a thing that he uses to gather trash when he goes diving. What do we got over here? What does anyone keep on shelves like these? What about the books? 55 Fun Ways a Kid Can Make a World of Difference by Michael O'Brien. Neato, they put it in the EcoQuest box. Oh, okay, that's something that you get with the. Uh, Oh, you don't have time. Okay. Empty soda can. Let's get that. Alright. Anything you can get in an adventure game, you take it. Uh, well, that looks like we're almost out of time for this video. Uh, in the next video, we will maybe leave this room. Um, hope you enjoy this series. I think I'm going to enjoy it. I don't know how popular it will be. It's a pretty obscure game. We already have 51 points, though. Um, well, uh, go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Otherwise, um, I'm Paul Bo Brookins, and we will see you in the next one.